Hidden deep within the misty valleys and shadowy forests of England lie the whispered legends and mysteries of centuries. These enchanted lands harbor many unknowns, from the secrets of ancient druids to the enigmatic knights of the medieval age and traces of kingdoms lost in the shadows. From the trails of Roman legions to ancient stories echoing in the shadows of stone monuments, Every corner of England is filled with the dark and fascinating pages of history. Now, are you ready to uncover these mysterious tales and forgotten secrets? The British Isles have been home to various peoples since prehistoric times. Around 8000 BC, in the late Mesolithic period, Hunter-gatherer communities set foot on these lands and established the first settlements. These people skillfully used nature's resources to survive, building complex tools and shelters. Their legacy is filled with stone tools and remains that archaeologists are still uncovering today. Are you curious about who these mysterious first settlers were and how they lived? Around 4000 BC, the Neolithic period began in the British Isles and settled agricultural life spread rapidly. One of the most notable features of this period is the construction of massive megalithic monuments. Structures like Stonehenge and Averbury are believed to have been used for ritual and astronomical purposes. These monuments still hold many unknowns regarding their construction techniques and purposes. How were the stones of Stonehenge moved? For what rituals were these structures used? These questions continue to puzzle scientists and historians today. Around 2500 BC, the Bronze Age began to influence Britain, accelerating social and technological changes. As metallurgical skills developed, societies became more complex, advancing in craftsmanship, trade and warfare techniques. The Bronze Age is also known for its burial mounds and treasure hunts. People of this era buried their dead with belongings, preparing them for the afterlife. The remains of the Bronze Age provide valuable insights into the life of that period. Around 800 BC, the Iron Age began in Britain and Celtic culture became dominant on the islands. The Celts are known for their strong tribal structures and warrior societies. Hill forts built for defense are examples of the architectural ingenuity of the Iron Age. While we have much information about the social structure, daily life, and beliefs of Celtic society, our knowledge about the Celtic priests, the Druids, is limited. What were the mysterious rituals and beliefs of the Druids? Druids played a significant role in Celtic society as religious leaders, jurists, and advisors. Their deep connection with nature was symbolized by sacred oak trees and natural temples. Since the Druids left no written records, information about them has mostly been transmitted by Roman historians. Julius Caesar detailed the Druids' religious ceremonies and human sacrifice rituals. However, it is still debated how much of these accounts are true and how much is Roman propaganda. The mysterious world of the Druids remains one of history's most fascinating and enigmatic topics. The withdrawal of the Roman Empire from Britain in the 5th century created a significant power vacuum on the island. Filling this void, the Anglo-Saxons established various kingdoms fundamentally transforming Britain's political and cultural landscape. The Anglo-Saxon period is filled with warrior kings, epic battles, and impressive works of art. Archaeological finds like Sutton Hoo reveal the rich culture and burial traditions of this era. Towards the end of the 8th century, the Vikings began raiding the shores of Britain, instilling great fear. The Vikings left a lasting mark on British history not only as raiders, but also as settlers. In the 9th century, the Viking settlements known as the Danelaw controlled a significant part of Britain. 
During this period, there was constant struggle between the English and the Vikings, but also cultural interactions. The legacy of the Vikings in Britain can be seen today in many remains and place names. At the end of the 9th century, King Alfred the Great of Wessex successfully resisted the Viking invasions and played a crucial role in the unification of England. Alfred was not only a warrior king, but also a reformer. His innovations in education, law and the military shaped the future of England. The castles and monasteries he built in Winchester are lasting marks of his vision. Alfred the Great's leadership was a critical turning point on the path to England's political unity. In 1066, William, Duke of Normandy, defeated King Harold of England at the Battle of Hastings and conquered England. This event marked a major turning point in English history. The Norman conquest was not just a change in government, but had profound effects on language, culture and land ownership. The Normans laid the foundations of the feudal system, fundamentally changing England's social and economic structure. The castles built by William, symbols of Norman dominance, still stand today. With the Norman conquest, the feudal system was established in England and the institution of knighthood gained importance. Knights were key figures in both warfare and local governance. This system, based on land ownership and loyalty, shaped England's social structure for a long time. The life of knights was built on honor, loyalty, and courage. These epic figures of the Middle Ages lived lives filled with tournaments, battles, and feasts. The romanticized lives of knights continue to hold a significant place in popular culture today. What do you think about this topic? Share your thoughts with us. Also, if you found our video useful, please remember to like and subscribe. The Tudor dynasty began in 1485 with the victory of Henry VII at the Battle of Bosworth, marking a significant turning point in English history as it ended the long-running Wars of the Roses. Henry VII established peace and stability in England, strengthened the economy and reasserted the authority of the monarchy. His reign heralded the beginning of the Tudor dynasty's golden age. How did the rise of this new dynasty change the fate of England? Henry VIII, one of the most famous monarchs of the Tudor dynasty, was at the center of many events that left a lasting impact on English history. He broke away from the Catholic Church and established the Church of England, initiating religious reforms. This decision fundamentally changed the religious and political landscape of England. Henry VIII's six marriages and the resulting issues of succession led to internal strife within the royal family. Henry VIII's daughter Mary ascended the throne after his death and sought to restore Catholicism. Mary's reign is remembered for the harsh persecution and execution of Protestants, earning her the nickname Bloody Mary. Her era was marked by intense religious conflict, causing widespread fear and chaos among the populace. Following Mary's death, Elizabeth the Fawn took the throne, ushering in the brightest period of the Tudor dynasty. Elizabeth's reign is known as the Golden Age of England, characterized by peace and prosperity. Arts, science and literature flourished during this time, with figures like William Shakespeare emerging on the world stage. Elizabeth's achievements in maritime affairs transformed England into a naval power. With Elizabeth's death without an heir, the Tudor dynasty came to an end. However, the Tudor era left an indelible mark on English history. The political, religious and cultural changes of this period laid the foundations of modern England. The legacy of the Tudor dynasty has had a profound impact on English history and culture. The Tudor era is remembered as a story filled with intrigue, ambitions and great transformations.
The Industrial Revolution, which began in the mid-18th century, was a transformative movement that turned England from an agrarian society into an industrial one. During this period, steam power and mechanization revolutionized production processes, leading to the establishment of large-scale factories. James Watt's innovations in the steam engine laid the foundation for industrial production. With these technological advancements, England became the world's first industrialized nation. The Industrial Revolution heavily relied on natural resources such as iron and coal. England, being rich in these resources, saw accelerated industrialization. Railroads and coal mines became the lifeblood of the industry. The extraction and processing of these resources required both labor and technological innovations. The harsh conditions faced by workers in coal mines also highlighted the dark side of industrialization. With the Industrial Revolution, there was a massive migration from rural areas to cities. New factories and industrial centers concentrated in rapidly growing cities. This rapid urbanization brought both opportunities and significant challenges. Living conditions in the cities were often poor. Inadequate housing, healthcare, and infrastructure issues adversely affected the populace. However, this period also saw the birth of social movements and the struggle for workers' rights. The Industrial Revolution led to significant advancements not only in production methods, but also in science and technology. Innovations occurred in many fields, including textiles, metallurgy, and chemistry. Richard Arkwright's water frame and Samuel Crompton's spinning mule revolutionized the textile industry. The scientific discoveries and inventions of this era laid the foundation for modern science. The Industrial Revolution increased England's global power, contributing to the expansion of the British Empire. England gained significant economic superiority by exporting industrial products to global markets. At the same time, it supplied its industry with raw materials from the colonies. This situation reinforced England's influence and power worldwide. However, these global interactions also led to social and economic changes in the colonies. The Victorian era began with Queen Victoria's ascension to the throne in 1837 and ended with her death in 1901. This period marked a time of great change and progress in English history. Queen Victoria's long reign saw the British Empire reach its greatest territorial extent, significant advancements in industry and technology, and the implementation of numerous social reforms. Victoria was not just a symbol of the monarchy, but also a representative of an era and culture. The Victorian era, as a continuation of the Industrial Revolution, witnessed great technological and industrial innovations. Inventions such as railways, steamships, the telegraph, and electricity fundamentally changed daily life and the business world. These technological advancements made England the leading industrial power globally and placed it at the center of global trade. During this period, London became one of the largest and most important cities in the world. During the Victorian era, the boundaries of the British Empire expanded worldwide. New colonies were established and existing ones were enlarged in Africa, Asia and the Caribbean. The phrase the empire on which the sun never sets aptly describes the vast geographical spread of the British Empire during this time. This expansion brought economic gains, but also had profound social and cultural impacts on indigenous peoples. The Victorian era was also a period of significant social and cultural changes. With industrialization, the working class grew leading to important reforms in workers' rights and working conditions. Education and healthcare services improved and the women's rights movement gained strength. 
there were significant advancements in literature, art and science, with notable figures such as Charles Dickens, Charles Darwin and Thomas Hardy emerging. After Queen Victoria's death, it is generally accepted that the peak period of the British Empire ended. In the early 20th century, world wars and anti-colonial movements weakened the empire's power. The devastating effects of World War I and the subsequent economic difficulties cast doubt on England's role as a global leader. Following World War II, many colonies gained independence and the British Empire transitioned into the modern Commonwealth of Nations. The events of this period represent one of the major transformations in England's history. On this fascinating journey through the depths of English history, we have explored many periods, from ancient times to the dark ages of the medieval era, from the ambitious Game of Thrones of the Tudor dynasty to the transformative power of the Industrial Revolution and the grand rise and fall of the Victorian era. This journey has helped us understand the rich and complex history of England. If you enjoyed our video, please click the like button Share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss our future videos. Until we meet again in the magic of history, goodbye.